the Capitol Police, the D.C. Metropolitan Police, other law enforcement agencies were attacked and assaulted before our very eyes, speared, sprayed, stomped on, brutalized, and lives were lost. And for three hours, the defeated former President of the United States watched it all happen as he sat in the comfort of the private dining room next to the Oval Office. While he was doing that, brave law enforcement officer subject to the medieval hell for three hours, dripping in blood, surrounded by carnage. Face to face with crazed mob that believed the lies of the defeated president. The police were heroes that day. Donald Trump lacked the courage to act. The brave women and men in blue all across this nation should never forget that. You can't be pro-insurrection and pro-cop. You can't be pro-insurrection and pro-democracy. You can't be pro-insurrection and pro-American. There can be no greater responsibility than to do all we can to ensure the safety of our families, our children, our community, our nation, and our law enforcement officers. I will always meet that duty, just as you do every single day as members of a critically important organization.